What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So I got some news for you. If by chance you're in the market for a Red Cat RC vehicle, then I got some good news for you. Uh, go ahead, typically we always do these things on our website, which is omgrc.com right there. Go ahead and go over to our website, omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter. It's down at the very bottom of our web page. Anyway, but giving you guys a little insight on what's going on for some deals. 10% off any Red Cat vehicle. If by chance you don't see one or it's out of stock, I should say, let us know. You can always call. There's the, mess there's the phone number that's at our website at the very top when you jump on there. Also, you can always email us or what have you or text us, uh, same phone number. Um, but yeah, that's that. I figured I'd let you guys know, 10% off. So it's going on for probably probably about 10 more days, something right around there. And uh, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, so let me know about that one if you guys have any questions in regards to that one. But what else have I been doing? We got the uh, Strength Headphones. This is the A959B. This was uh, sent to me by Banggood, if you guys haven't been watching the video or anything like that. And I did a little running video of that one. I always probably put that back in there too. But I'm going to have more running videos of it because it's a cool car. I like it. And the other thing is it's got a big freaking motor in there. Uh, it's got a 540 can. It's got like this size of a motor sitting right up in there. That's what caught my eye. I like when something like that. It's like just cramming as big a motor as you can into something small like that. So I thought that was pretty cool that someone kind of did that. Now, why is this motor sitting here anyhow? Because it came out of this guy. Uh, the ground pounder. I only ran it a couple times, literally, only like twice. And uh, I put it on 3S, and I know better. I, I mean, I know better. I know what I was doing when I did it, anyhow. I put it on 3S, and uh, I ran it through the grass, and of course, that's very bad because that's going to heat your motor up, and of course, it burned it out, but they're brushed motors, and they're a dime a dozen, right? They're just so super cheap, and it's no sweat off my back as far as that part goes because I was going to change that anyhow, so it's all good. So I figured I'd take the armature out. And this is the armature here, and that's like the commutator that's there. It's what the brushes sit on. Those are little brushes which make contact anyway in there. So these brushes sit on this part of it. Those little brushes, obviously, they're kind of clamped together right now. But they're the what make contact there. And yeah, there's no more metal left on there. <laughs> so they usually have like a little bit of copper on it or so. You can kind of see a little bit that's left there. But yeah, it's gone. So. And you're looking at this too and you're like if you had a ground pounder or you still do and you're like isn't that the one out of the ground pounder yes it is and so is that electronic speed controller i got rid of both of those i cannibalized my everest 10 thank you everest 10 for donating that uh i went ahead and yeah i didn't like this transmission i don't not so much on the transmission i'll be honest like that's eh, okay but uh I don't like the 32, or I'm sorry, I like 32 pitch. I don't like this 48 pitch gears. That means the gears are, the higher the number, the closer together those uh, teeth are. So in this case here, it reminds me so much of old school, but I was running actually 64 bit or 64 uh, pitch. But these are, I don't like 48 pitch and I don't like it. So I went with 32 pitch. And here's what I did since I Frankenstein this thing. You guys do your own thing, but here, this is what I just did. You know, nothing fancy or anything like that. And I already ran it, so I know it's good. It holds. It is good to go. This transmission, now, since this one comes out of the Everest 10, there's a lot of stuff that I kind of did to it to make this all work. But it's got two bolts that are going through here into some nylon nuts. This little plastic piece here, you probably want to know. Well, I mean, if you did want to know where it came from, it's actually an MSD. I ran, used to run imports or what have you, playing around with a lot of that stuff. And uh, this is just part of, I don't even know what that's from. Maybe you guys, I don't know if it's for cutting or splicing, something like that as far as your uh, spark plug wires or something like that. I don't know. I forget what it's all about now. It's been a long time. Might be that. You guys can let me know. So anyway, but this one's got 32 pitch that's in here because I already did a video on it. But uh, these drive shafts are a little bit Frankenstein, a little bit cut. So here's what I did. These, this actual, this whole drive shaft here is the rear drive shaft out of the Everest 10. And it's no different from the front or the back. But I did have to cut the drive shaft down low because it was a little too short. I'm sorry, it was a little too long. So I just cut the drive shaft down a little bit and I made it all work there. And then as far as the top one here, the top one you don't have as much action. You don't have all the force, like you got a lot more pressure or, you know, obviously when you get on it, a lot of the, anyway. Anyway, you're getting a lot of power to the back as far as it's gonna squat. So it puts more where the, the fronts can kind of like 
skim across, let's say, the grass a little bit where the back are squatting and you know doing a lot of the, the work pushing the vehicle forward. Uh, so this got a 30 or 4400 kV motor. It's a red cat motor, so you can see a little red cat right there. Uh, and also, as far as the hobby wing system, I think this one is the 120 amp or 80 amp, one of the two. It's still 3S capable and uh, it's a lot of power for this thing. It ran fine on 2S, so I'll get a running video of this one because I definitely dig the ground pounder. So that is my story as of today and what I've been up to. Uh, as far as, yeah, in regards to this here, as far as the A959B, what have you, I'm gonna do other stuff because I got some little hex deals here. These are 10, or these are 12 millimeter hexes, so they can go on these tires, but they'll fit onto this um, RC vehicle. I like this vehicle, again, because of the fact that it's a big motor that in a small vehicle. Anyway, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. We sell all kinds of RC vehicles. It helps me out, puts food on the table. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, till next time, you guys take care, and I appreciate you guys watching as always. Later.